the best in poker. The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Oak Show. Hey everybody, good morning. We're up a little early today. At least we're on air a little early today, but we are live here at the World Series of Poker. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, when we said register early, we didn't mean everybody come down all at once last night. That was unbelievable. It, you know, it's hard to say what the bigger story is, what's going on in the 50K or this Monster Stack tournament, but this has been something else down here, and we're going to break it all down for you, let you know what's going on, but thank you for joining us here on the Mark Hoke Show. I am the aforementioned Mark Hoke. That's me, kids. Having a blast down here at the World Series of Poker, but oh my God, don't lean in. What are you doing over there? Don't talk to my wife today, apparently. She doesn't want to talk to anybody. She just wants to read her book. So don't come down here and try to buy any of our great gear from Run Good Gear and our good friends at Blind Squirrel Apparel and Team Poker Joker and some Arctic Blue Cooling Towels or the Las Vegas Advisor Coupon Books. Don't do it because when you show up, she's going to get all grumpy. I don't want to talk to you. Seriously, though, it's okay. She will take care of you. Of course, uh, we're on a little early today. Number one, because we wanted to check out what was going on down here for the Monster Stack. But we also, of course, you know, have uh, a little special thing for me today is I'm going to be headed over to the uh, M Resort and Casino today in the media tournament. I can't wait to uh, play in that one and beat the hell out of Chris Moneymaker. No, he's going to crush me like a grape. Is going to absolutely try to kill me today. But uh, it's an opportunity for me to get into the main event, so I figure we'll swing over there. And, of course, I uh, want to thank the the Hollywood Poker Open for and team for inviting me over. So, yes. Good for you, Sydney. You rock. That is awesome. Oh, Michael from Sydney. Well, it's the morning. I'm usually on at 11 o'clock. Sure, you want to say Hi. I have friends down there. By the way, Landon Blackhall birthday yesterday, our good friend over there. So, we'll, yeah, we'll say hi to Michael. And this is Good morning, so, Mark. Good morning. So you came all the way from Sydney to play this tournament. Absolutely. I've been planning it for about uh, six months now. As soon as I heard this uh, deep stack tournament for $1,500 was on, me and about I don't know how many others have all come from Sydney to try and steal all your money. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, that's a so, great tournament. So when did you register? I registered at 6.30 on Tuesday morning. That was a good decision on your Absolutely. part. Absolutely. I was the only person here. And uh, <laughs> at that time, the, the the cashier told me that over 1,000 had already registered by then. Yeah. When I, yeah. So I don't know how many it is now. 6,400 plus. Six. Welcome well, that, to America. A that's a challenge, yeah. It yeah. Is, it's a challenge. It's going to be a hoot. So you There's going to be 6,300-odd disappointed people yeah you're gonna win this right well i'm not coming here to run second i would you take it though second yeah at a pinch okay at a pinch. if you had to yeah. if i had to if you had if to you force me into, I'd take it. <laughs> but yeah it's going to be really exciting and of course you know we're seeing players from all around the world coming to this and you know when you have an opportunity to play in a tournament like this i mean was that the you know was that the big appeal to you just the extra chips i mean was that oh absolutely because i i you know without saying anything detrimental about the WSOP here at the main event, but to put a $1,500 down and to almost turn into bingo by having 4.5K in chips is, you know, particularly if you travel a long way. Mm. You know, we like to run, run deep and, and you know, structure the game. And uh, unfortunately, uh, with a low chip stack, unless you get dead lucky right up at the beginning, it's, you know, you're gone. Mm. But saying that, I played the main event a couple of years ago, and you get thirty thousand in starting in the starting stack, and it's the perfect amount. 
Right. It's absolutely the right amount. I think if they had their cheaper uh, entries, just with a little bit more chips, I think they'd have huge numbers like this one all the time. Yeah. I don't even know if they could handle it, though. This well, is going to be this is going to be crazy today. It's going to no, be insane. Be crazy, yeah. But well, yeah, so so are are are, are you in the are you in the morning flight here? So you yes, got I'm, into the twelve. I'm, I'm good for you. At, uh, in about fifty minutes. Uh, so yeah, I, that's why I came here because when I originally read about it, it said one flight. Right. And everybody said, "Man, is not going to be one flight? They could there be too many entrants." And that's right. So they announced this week, as you know, that they had to put a second flight on, yep. and they've structured the. Uh, the number of levels and everything, just to fit them in. Yeah. Well, it's going to be uh, four. What? No. 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 It's no. Two. two. I heard it's no. two. It's two. Yeah, I'm positive it's two. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I tell you what, I wish you all the best. Thank you. I think you know you and your friends, and you know, welcome to the Rio, and uh, we do appreciate I'll you, it. I'll give you the exclusive first interview if I win it. You got it. There you go. There you <laughs> thank, go. Thank you for giving me the time. No problem. So, hey, that's what this is all about here at the World Series of Poker. Thank you. Just the, you know, everybody from around the world coming down here to play. And, of course, this event has absolutely captivated the poker world. Uh, like I said, we're up to about 6,400 entrants right now. And it is all going late reg. So, basically, what's going to happen is if you come down to register today, you're going to be put in, probably put into the 5 o'clock flight. And then you're also going to end up you know, probably be putting in a late wave. So you may not start at 5. Good chance Good chance you're going to be starting at 6, 7, 8. So as players drop out. But, you know, it, I mean, this is going to be interesting. I, I talked to Jack Effel this morning, and I gave him a congratulations. I said, Jack, way to go. You know, this is this is awesome. He's like, and I'm, and I'm going to quote him here. I said, I just hope we make, Craddon, congratulations. I just hope we make it through the fucking day alive. That is a quote from Jack Heffel. So this is going to be, it is going to be a challenge. Uh, these guys certainly are going to be really up against the wall a little bit. Because the one, the one issue that I think they're going to have on this is trying to get seats open when you've given everybody 15,000 chips, we're not going to see a whole lot of bust-outs today. At least we shouldn't. I mean, there will be enough for a while, but I, they're going to have a hard time accommodating this. I, I hope everybody at Caesars is ready to go because we may be shipping some people across the uh, or down the street a little bit. But a, a phenomenal sight here last night at the World Series. The line, I know they did have a little computer glitch, but that line was literally a quarter of the way down the hall. Uh, from wherever we were in the registration area, entire queue was filled, and this place was packed. I mean, you would not believe the activity that was going on here. Uh, finally, started to settle down a little bit uh, about quarter to midnight. Midnight uh, when I was getting ready to leave, uh, I actually stayed down here yesterday. Say hi to you know, make some new fans. Say hi to everybody. Check out what was happening, and uh, just a phenomenal phenomenal evening here at the World Series of Poker. And there was more going on too. Lots of tournaments. we got bracelets given out. I mean, it's it was a wild evening and we're going to break it all down for you here on the Mark Hoke Show. A little special edition for you here in the morning so I can go play some poker this afternoon. Uh, but of course uh, aside from the Monster Stack, we have a, a couple of very exciting tournaments and uh, let me, let's pull up a uh, What's going on here? We're gonna we're gonna come back to the players' championship. Of course, that got to uh, its final eight players last night. Uh, the Annie Only tournament won by Jesse McEwen knocks off Jonas Lauk from the United Kingdom, and uh, Jesse keeps another bracelet in America. Way to go! And takes down the Anti Only tournament. Uh, Rise Jones in third, Manic Loser in fourth, Herbert Yarborough in fifth. Simeon Nadenov has had a Knights World Series. He is in sixth. And our good friend Adam Levy. Oh, I'm sorry. Manny Glozer is in the wrong one. Yarborough fourth. Nadenov fifth. Adam Levy in sixth. So our good friend Ruthless makes his first World Series of Poker final table. And he finishes in sixth place. So congratulations to him. Ryan D'Angelo in seventh. Uh, D'Angelo was a chip leader for a long way in this tournament. But uh, can only come up with a seventh place. And Jeremy Joseph in there. And by the way, our good friend Justin Oliver. Justin, you've registered your chip counts in the wrong tournament, buddy. Just wanted to let you know, Justin Oliver. Incorrect, sir. So there's event 47. Let's take a look at event 
number 48. And that is going to, of course, the Pot Limit Omaha High-Low Split Eight or Better Tournament uh, that is headed to day three today. And Scott Clements leads the remaining 11 players. Clements at 699,000. Jeff Madsen going for bracelet number four is at 654,000. Dylan Wilkerson at 552. The ever dangerous Tyler Patterson finally making an appearance in late in the tournament here at the World Series. He is at 425. Derek Raymond, 419. Cody Crawford, local here in Las Vegas, 403. J.R. Flournoy out of Fort Worth, Texas is at 400,000. And the unbelievably dangerous guy in mixed games, Tom Schneider, looking to make another World Series of Poker final table. He stands at 315. Gary Kosakowski at 249. Brian Brubaker, 175. And Philip Sternheimer, the only non-American left in this field at 167. Boy, I'll tell you what, the, the mixed games, we have just not been seeing that much of a foreign presence overall. Certainly some guys like George Danzer have had amazing World Series so far, but uh, the Americans dominating here at the WSOP. So there's event number 48. Looking forward to maybe a, a great collision there with uh, Clements, Madsen, Wilkerson, Patterson. That's going to be a wild finish to event 48, the Pot Limit Omaha High low, split eight or better tournament. Uh, event number 49, the No Limit Hold'em event from yesterday. That is the 5K, 696 entrants on there. They go to day two, and a gentleman we had on the show earlier this year, and you know probably more familiar to everybody is the World Blackjack Champion, Kenny Einiger. <laughs> How about that? Einiger is at 174,000 and leads the 5K. So that early bust out that he had in the World Series, I believe he's starting to make up for it. Einiger at 174 and just on his tail is Josh Ari at 173. Uh, Rafael, Rafael, excuse me, Rafael Chalain is at 152. Robert Prinz, 149. Tom Bedell out of Norway is at 144. Martin Hanowski from Frankfurt is at 142. Luis Asana, Asana Garla. <laughs> why do the Brazilians need extra names? I'll ask that question, wife. Why do why, why do Brazilians need to have extra names? What? Brazilians always have extra names. They, they, they put all their names in there. First and last. Why do you have to, you know, you got, it's always got to be like Luis Ricardo Montablan Steven. Because they use their maternal last name I, and their paternal I, last name. I know that, but still. I'm just saying, it's always long. It, it needs it to be shortened up. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm having fun. Uh, Nick uh, Petran Petrangelo. <laughs> Petrangelo. Uh, Angelo. Jeez, ooh. Uh, 120. Alexei. Oh, my God. Cesar <laughs> Skiai. Oh, my God. I'm so, that's so wrong. 119. And Vanessa Selbst, first deep run. Uh, first time we've seen her name on the leaderboard here in a while, of course, came off that devastatingly rough hand at the Poker Players Championship and was knocked out early there, but she now stands listed in 10th place on this one. Uh, Tony Gargano back in the back on the board. He had a final table earlier in this series. And Big Hooney, Chris Hoonigan at 109, looking good. Uh, Jason Coons in 14th, Ravi Rahavan at 15th. Matt Jarvis is in 16th. Lauren Kling, a nice deep run here at 17th. Uh, also, J.C. Tran hanging around there. Eugene Todd, Melanie Weisner, Blake Bond. Uh, his first big run here at the World Series. Uh, Ryan LaPlante also hanging around there, along with many others. So that is 204 left in the 5K. I probably wish they were getting more out of there, but uh, that's what we got on that one. The 8-game mix also kicking off yesterday, and... That is event number 50, and that'll pop up for me here in just a moment, I'm sure. I promise event number 50 is going to kick up here. There we go. Uh, Eight-game mix, 486 entrants down to 106 right now. And Eric Crane at the top of the board, 71,600. Trevor J. Martin, 62. Adam Crawford, 46. So those guys now open up a little bit of a lead here early on. Uh, Mike Gorodinsky coming back here. Of course, Mike's had a couple deep runs this year at the series at 45,000. And um, that's Barry Hutter's in there at 16th, Brandon Cantu at 19th. 
Ali Aslami at 26th, Galen Hall 27th, Max Pescatori in 31st, uh, Dan Heimler also in their 37th place. So that's where we are right now here at the World Series in event number 49, or in event 50. Of course, event 51 is the monster stack, and we're going to talk more about that uh, in just a little bit. But, of course, the the big one going on right now is the Poker Players Championship. Eight players remaining. Right. And uh, so uh, the Poker Players Championship event number 46, and they are down to eight players left, so we're still one away from that official final table. Bubble burst yesterday at 14, and the guy's walking out of there picking up just about $100,000 and up. Uh, but unbelievably, Brandon Shaq Harris, can you believe this kid? A first, a second, and a third, and he's going to make this final. Uh, and Yeah, he's going to make this final table, barring a disaster in the Poker Players Championship. So Brandon Shaq Harris continues to dominate here at this World Series. Uh, he and George Danzer are just absolutely on fire right now. Uh, and Brandon Shaq Harris leading the way, 4.1 million chips. Abe Masori uh, looking for glory here is at 3.4. Frank Casella, 2.5. John Hennigan, 1.8. He was a runner up here at the World Series earlier. Uh, Chun Li Zhao is at 1.4. Uh, Jesse Martin at 840. And Melissa Burr, of course, the big story here, she is on her third final table and had another 10th place finish. So she has just been having an amazing World Series. She is the first woman to cash in the Poker Players Championship, and she comes in at 661,000 chips. Alan Kessler is at 439, so the chainsaw also a deep run in this World Se this uh, Poker Players Championship. And Kessler, Kessler had some words for some people on Twitter, by the way. In case you missed it, Chainsaw was not happy with some of the criticism that was going out there. Uh, some people were just going absolutely crazy that he was making a deep run and started busting his chops a little bit. Uh, but Allen kind of fired back a little bit. And uh, we got to give him the quote because there were a few people that kind of got on his case. And the, the tweet at Allen Kessler, F the haters in the money in the WSOP 50K player, Poker Players Championship at Alan Barry at Wildman75 underscore 75 and at Go Leafs Go. Eh? Of course, Alan Barry, Mike Leah, and Daniel Buzgon uh, apparently were busting Alan's chops a little bit, and he wasn't real happy about it. But Alan Kessler is going to be uh, heading on to this. Uh, well, he's going to try and make the official final table here, but Kessler sitting in eighth place right now so pretty uh, pretty good run for Alan Kessler on that one and uh, give us one second here because we want to break down this field a little bit more for you so give us one second here and I'm going to bring that up for you but let's take a look at the eight players that will be facing off today for this year's Chip Reese Trophy and here they are. Of course, uh, Brandon Shaq Harris uh, is at his, once again, his fourth final table of the summer. And and uh, Harris, of course, with a bracelet already this year, won the biggest pot limit Omaha tournament in history earlier at the beginning of this World Series. And now he is looking for a chance to take over the player of the lead race. And I'll tell you what, I don't think a lot of people really would have thought that was going to be possible. But at this point, the way Danzer was running away with it, but Brandon Shaq Harris just continues to roll and roll and roll, and he will be, but he does need to win this. Certainly wouldn't put it past him, though, but Brandon Shaq Harris has just been outstanding at this World Series. Uh, Abe Masari, of course, uh, has a bracelet winner. This is one of the top cash games, in the top uh, cash games in poker, uh, playing all those big mix games, and uh, Masari was the chip leader yesterday, uh, comes in second today, and he will be, this is the first time he's uh, at the Poker Players Championship final table. Top finish in this one was 11th in 2010. Frank Casella, a name World Series poker fans are familiar with. He is the 2010 Player of the Year here at the World Series.
goes for his third bracelet, and this is his first time cashing here in the Poker Players Championship, which is kind of surprising. Frank's a pretty darn good player, but you know, obviously this is a pretty elite field, so Frank Casella moving on there. John Henning, and otherwise known as Johnny World, second time in a row he is on this final table. Of course, finished 12th in 2012, third last year, and almost kind of feel like is this is this destiny for John Hennigan, a uh, runner-up finish here earlier at this World Series. And, of course, uh, once again was heads up uh, in a bracelet event earlier this year, lost to Ted Gillis, the Marine. So John Hennigan looking for this one. Chun Li Zhao, and this is, uh, you know, the young man from Macau, his first ever World Series of Poker cash. So not a bad one to get your first cash in. So Zhao trying to take this away from the Americans because he is the only non-American left in this tournament. Uh, but he has got himself in the middle of the pack, and Chun Li Zhao will be attempting to win this Poker Players Championship today. Along with Jesse Martin, he's not fighting Brandon Cantu. He is, of course, former bracelet winner, won 10K single draw bracelet last year, his first cash in the Poker Players Championship. So Jesse Martin will be firing away today. Well, once again, Melissa Burr, the first, the third final table, and also had a her fourth top ten finish here. She is the first woman, and I tell you what, what would you would you have answered that question earlier? If I'd have said to you who would be the first woman to cash in the Poker Pros Championship, I don't think you would have said Melissa Burr. But this is a summer for her to remember, and she's still not done. But Melissa Burr trying to get the job done here. She comes in in seventh place, and of course the chainsaw Alan Kessler. Three-time runner-up in bracelet events and but and many final tables, but is looking to finally try and break through. But he will have a little bit of an uphill battle as he sits at the bottom of the chip counts right now. So there you go. That's your field for the Poker Players Championship. Coming up here a little bit later on today. All right, so we're going to step back, take a little bit of a break, and we come back. Let's take a look at this monster stack. And I'm going to tell you what, the hallways are buzzing right now kickoff for this first flight of the event is at noon we're going to take you through everything that happened from start to finish on this one because it has been a, a day and a half that i don't know if the world series is ever going to forget so let's step back take a break and we'll be right back here on the mark hoke show and thank you for joining us we'll see you on the other side of the break the heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code MarkHokeShow when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold, hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit blindsquirrelapparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. I'm Dutch Boyd, two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. 
12 years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Tough day at the Velp? Get off tilt and unstuck by escaping to the desert for an extreme off-road adventure with Sun Buggy Fun Rentals. We have the biggest fleet of off-road vehicles known in the universe. And since we know poker players aren't exactly early risers, we now offer after-dark tours for all you night owls. And don't forget to stop by the Mark Hope Show WSOP booth at the Rio to win a free Sun Buggy experience. Please call us 24-7 at 1-866-728-4443 and visit us at W www.sunbuggy.com Call us now and take the off-road ride of your life with Sun Buggy Fun Rentals. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to Final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch coming soon. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. And for more details, make sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook at Final9comic. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Okay, we are back here live at the World Series of Poker. Special morning edition. We came in in the anti-meridian time slot instead of the post-meridian time slot. That's right, AM instead of PM. Why? Well, I'm playing a poker tournament, but another is because we want to be in front of this great crowd here for the Monster Stack. Kids, if you thought the Millionaire Maker was insane last year, well, you haven't seen anything yet. It has been, you know, it's it's really strange because it's, to a point, it's completely overshadowed the 50K Players Championship. Uh, you know, obviously we're keeping on out, but a lot of the players here you know, for the most part, I think they're just dreaming about winning a lot of money. Registration is at about 60, was over 6,400 as of about an hour and a half ago. I don't know if they're going to be able to crack 7,000. I just don't know if they're going to be able to accommodate everybody. This is going to be a very difficult situation for the World Series because with for the Millionaire Maker... You know, players with 4,500 chips are going to bust out pretty quickly. But for this one, these guys are going to have 15,000. Now, of course, you're going to see a lot of amateurs as we see some people, you know, just making the special trip to come over here to be on the to play in this tournament. So probably not. So probably not used to playing with a larger stack, and we'll be taking some chances. But um, but it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. So let's kind of break down how this saga went yesterday. Yesterday, of course, around 1242, the World Series made the announcement on WSOP.com that they have added that they added the 5 p.m. flight. 
So demand, uh, they had, I know they had cracked about 1,500 as of Tuesday and decided, well, this is going to get a little nuts. So they've added a 5 p.m. flight in there uh, for this evening. Uh, what they are doing, of course, is the players are going to have 20-minute breaks every two hours, but they will be playing nine levels instead of the planned 11. So players starting at both time slots are going to play nine flights today of one hour e or nine uh, one-hour blind levels. The 5 p.m. flight, congratulations, you kids are going to get to uh, play until about 3.20 this morning. So that's going to be a, a long, uh, long evening for you guys. Uh, and then come back on Friday. Now, once again, a reminder, this is not a re-entry event. So you do not have the luxury like you do in the Millionaire Maker, where if you lose, you can come back and you know, get to try and enter again. So it's one shot only. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm sorry. There you go. But, of course, last night we saw lines a galore coming out of the, the registration area. Uh, they did have a little computer glitch with some of the software, so they, you know, it was a, a little bit of a problem there to uh, you know, to get into the tournament. So, but everybody got in, everybody's got their shot. But now, what is going to end up happening this afternoon is the waves, and you know, with the you know, with the players coming in at 5, some are going to have to wait to start until 6. Some are going to have to wait to start until 7. Um, it's going to be, you know, and, and, you know, the most interesting part about it is, is that, of course, you know, some of these guys may not get in. So we'll see what happens tonight. I think that's what Jack's got to really be concerned about at this point because, obviously, all of the alternates are going to get thrown in there late. So, you know, maybe some other players, uh, I don't know if they can get in as alternates on the day flight and get shifted. But we'll see. It's it's going to be a fascinating afternoon. Uh, so once again, flights at starting at noon coming up here in about 29 minutes. Flight at 5 o'clock. Day 2 scheduled to start at 3 p.m. So that is your schedule here on this one. Um, seen a lot of players in the, in the rewards card line, but uh, not a lot registering. I think obviously the word's kind of gotten out that you know what, it's going to be a little bit tough to get into this tournament at this point. But I uh, would expect uh, maybe push, I don't know if we'll quite get to 7,000, but it's going to be close. It, it really depends on the World Series can uh, accommodate these guys. Uh, the Deeps Daily, Deep Stacks, well, if you were planning to come down and play the 235 today, you're screwed. Uh, Thursday and Fridays, 3 and 6 p.m., Deep Stacks events have been canceled due to this overwhelming demand to get into the Monster Stack Tournament. And you can probably hear a lot of the background noise. You know, we haven't, over the past week or so, it, we, you know, we haven't really had the opportunity to hear all this noise. It's been really quiet in here at the Rio. But not today. Uh, the players, uh, you know, and, and especially you can tell it's a lot of newer players to the World Series, you know, because they're actually coming in early, which is good. You know, and, and compliments to everybody who, you know, came down last night. You know, it looks like the time to register was you know, maybe Monday or Tuesday. But this is an action crowd in here. Everybody very excited. Now, let's just hope uh, they know how to handle the deep stack. Of course, uh, one thing that we had speculated about during, you know, in the lead up to the World Series, once this monster stack was announced, was do people know how to play with this deep stack? Do they understand that they don't have to go crazy with this thing? And, you know, just because you have a bunch of chips doesn't mean that it's time to go nuts and play bad hands out of position and so on so it'll be yeah you know, we'll we'll see how the frequent the bust out our bust outs are early in this tournament uh if people you know the, the more of these amateur style players are going to be able to handle this but of course a lot of pro top pros are getting in this and the one the one conflict that i think is going to be a little bit rough is of course the ladies event starts tomorrow and uh, Obviously, this is a, a difficult choice for some players. You know, do you play in this one, and or do you play in the ladies' event? I have a feeling the ladies' event is going to get hurt by this a little bit in terms of its numbers, just because these, you know, this one's not one to miss. You know, if you if you had this on your schedule, uh, you're playing it, and uh, you know, ladies' tournament's a fine event, but when you're going to have a prize pool that is going to be just millions of dollars. I don't know if this is one you can walk away from. So 
we'll see what happens in terms of the numbers for the ladies event coming up here on Friday. And I know there's a lot of concern about registration too, but uh, that appears to have been laid because uh, many players have already, most players have already registered for this tournament. So I don't think the ladies are going to have too much of a problem on Friday uh, getting into this thing. But, of course, uh, that is a huge event coming up Friday. And then, of course, the one drop starts on Sunday, too. So this is going to be, as as, bleh as the last weekend was, this weekend is going to be something else. As this monster stack is going to be barreling through, the ladies' tournament's going to be going on. Uh, we got the one drop. I mean, this is going to be an exciting, exciting few days here at the World Series. And, uh, you know, this, like I said, it's just a packed house in here right now. A lot of people... Uh, and a lot of people uh, filing in here, getting ready to go. And I know, um, well, just watch the camera there. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, the WSOP staff out in droves here in the hallways trying to keep things going and help everybody out. Uh, man, this is, this is an atmosphere worthy of the World Series of Poker. Unlike the last few days, this has been pretty cool. All right. And let's see what else we have happening at the moment. Like I said, it's just the... Just a nuts day out here. Love it. Got to love it. All right. And, yeah, I think we're super cool. So we'll, once the, the sea of people dies down here a little bit, hopefully we may catch a couple of the guys coming in for the for the Poker Players Championship. But, of course, so we're going to have a, a, once again, a short show this morning uh, as I'm going to be headed over to the M to play at the Media Invitational for the Hollywood Poker Open. Taking a shot to get into that half a million dollar guarantee over there. So if you if you do brick out of this thing today, chance to maybe pop over to oh, pop over to the M and play that one. And of course, uh, while we have a second, um, let's uh, take a moment and thank all of our great sponsors of the show. I think that would be a good idea. Of course, uh, we were on KLAV twelve thirty a.m. the Talk of Las Vegas. We're on there regularly Wednesdays at three p.m. So make sure you join us there, either here in Las Vegas or on KLAV twelve thirty a.m. dot com every week. And we'll be coming soon to KBAD 920, the game here in Las Vegas as well. Uh, the Players Poker Championship Poker Tour, that event uh, kicking off over at the Stratosphere on the 28th, uh, 9th and 30th of June. So more chances for you to play some great tournaments here in Las Vegas if you don't uh, want to get into the World Series events. So make sure you join up there. Uh, check it out at playerspokerchampionship.com. And, of course, our good friends at Final Nine Comic. Make sure you go to Final9Comic.com for the unique poker book. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. Can you slide over just a little bit here? Your arm's on camera. That's okay. No problem. That's all right. Um, <laughs> well, it's the World Series, kids. Crazy stuff happens. Uh, but one nine will become one one way or another. Download the first edition of the, the brand-new comic at Final the number nine comic.com from Anish Patel and team 110 publishing. Uh, we also have our good friends at blind squirrel apparel. We got some great blind squirrel apparel over here. People are checking out right now. So uh, head on over there to blind We'll get you 20% off with the code Hoke. So look good. Be lucky with blind squirrel apparel. Uh, our good friends at Arctic blue cooling towels. I know we're clearing a few of those out of here today. It's not cool to be hot. I'm not sure what the towel formation going on up here is. It's kind of it's kind of weird. But uh, go to Arctic Blue, ArcticBlu.com, and get 15% off plus free shipping with the code Mark Hoke Show. Yes, that's an Arctic Blue cooling towel. Very cute. It's not cool to be hot, and it's going to be 114 degrees on Monday in Las Vegas. So might be a good time to pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel here down at the booth. Good friends at Run Good Gear. We've got all sorts of great Run Good Gear stuff here in the booth, too, but the hoodies are going quick because it's freezing in the Rio. You know, not quite so bad today because there's actually people in the hallway, so that doesn't hurt. But, uh, you know, find your Run Good, and they're great gear today. Check it out at 10% off with the code HOKE, which we just had somebody use last night to help them get a put an order in. Uh, go to RunGoodGear.com. Hey, the Sunbuggy Fun Rentals, we gave away a few more, couple, gave away two more of those yesterday. Probably give away a one or two more on the drawing day on Saturday. Make sure you go to SunBuggy.com for your dune buggy experience in Las Vegas and all over the desert southwest. Check them out at SunBuggy.com. They are the original 
off-road tour company. Our good friends at Double Digit Covers, hey, you want to get some money on the World Cup, you, Major League Baseball, they're even pushing the CFL. That's right, kids. You want to bet on some football, you got Canadian football to bet on. Make sure you go to DoubleDigitCovers.com get your or and sign up for your free winner sent daily to your phone or you know give them a call if you want to get involved in any of their betting packages uh, you know, they're going to steer you the right way doubledigitcovers.com call them at 855-489-2700 it's 855-489-2700 good friends at bluerail.net the greatest website designers in the world bob lusk and the team have got you covered they're the internet home of the mark hoke show and much more make sure you give bob a call at 522 522- 8205128 that's 5228205128 Bob will give you a great deal just mention you heard about us on the Mark Hoke show Blue Rail we build websites how far do you want to go of course uh, make sure you go to roguewire.com the host site of markhokeshow.com of course for the you know the, some of the best entertainment and fun you're going to find on the web check it out at roguewire.com the team poker joker hats Still not sure what the formation is on these Team Poker Joker hats either. It's kind of weird there, too. But uh, <laughs> grin and win today with Team Poker Joker. You get 10% off on the website with the code Vegas Hoke. That's right, Vegas Hoke. Yeah, I like that. Join the cult today with those crazies at Team Poker Joker. Grin and win at TeamPokerJoker.com. Hey, the Nevada Poker League. Hey, you bust out of the monster stack today. You want to still play some poker, but you're broke. Well, I'll tell you what, we got you covered. Head on over there to the Nevada Poker League, uh, NevadaPokerLeague.com. 17 different locations here in Las Vegas. Play poker for free. Cash and prizes up to 50K they give away a year. It's pretty good stuff, so check it out at NevadaPokerLeague.com. Off till poker tables, $300 off brand new table. Call Brian, not today. The World Series did. Deep Stacks Poker Tour did. Mint States Poker Tour did. So you should, too. Go to offtiltpokertables.com and give Brian a call at 262-490-3812 and mention the Mark Hoke Show, 300 bucks off your table. We got the Poker Tilt book from Dutch Boyd. It is getting rave reviews. People are loving this book. If you want to see what it's really like to live in the world of poker, man, it's the only book to read. Check it out at pokertilt.com. It is the poker book. You can't book down by author Dutch Boyd and Lawrence Samuels. Um, and Las Vegas Advisor, we got some Las Vegas Advisor coupon books here. Along getting your memberships, go to LasVegasAdvisor.com. Score big. It's dirt cheap, and you will take over Las Vegas guaranteed. So visit LasVegasAdvisor.com today. And, of course, our good friends at Global Poker Index. We're being simulcast on their site. We do appreciate that. So, you know, hey, if you want to know where you or all your buddies stack up or you know, who's the top pros in the world right now, Go to globalpokerindex.com. They are the poker ranking authority. All right. So there's all the peeps working with the show. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot to mention. I, I got to do this because this is very important. Our good friends at H-Town Tacos. You betcha, H-Town Tacos. They're going to be having a little fun on Friday night. And uh, let me just break that down for you. I almost said, uh, uh, let's see. So once again, Friday, uh, they're going to be down at Rick's Restoration, which is a pretty cool place to go. You know, the guy Rick from the TV. You've seen him around at 1112 South Commerce Street, 1112 South Commerce Street here in Las Vegas. They're going to be down there from 6 to 9 p.m. They're going to have the Eat My Taco Girls there. That sounds like fun. And, of course, if you go up and tell anyone to eat my taco when you order, you get your first taco half price. So just go up and yell at somebody to eat your taco. And have a good time with those guys at H-Town Tacos. And uh, it's htowntacos.com, too, if I remember. htowntaco.com. So say hi to them on their website, too. But, you know, take care of those guys. Steven and Amanda, good people. Enjoy your tacos. Wow, it's a it's a great atmosphere out here at the World Series today. We, you know, it, it's really been missing over the last week. You know, a lot of smaller events, and you know, and I I don't know if this was necessarily intentional or not that they left all this uh, you know, all these seats, but it's been uh, you know pretty exciting here today. I mean, just the halls are packed. My wife continues to read Oscar Wilde and ignoring everybody. 
because she is just not enthused at all. But this, <laughs> see, <laughs> but this group of people, the energy in this building is just unreal as everyone's getting ready to play this monster stack tournament, at least get it started. Once again, just to remind everybody what's going on, we've got two flights today. They split it into two. We have a 12 o'clock flight starting here in about 15 minutes, 5 o'clock flight starting tonight. And, of course, they're going to be coming in in battle waves too. So you may not, if you get down here and register late, you may not be getting in at 5. You might have to play at 6, 7, 8. Of course, they're going all the way till about, that group's going all the way to about 3.20 in the morning. So it's going to be a long night. Nine, Only nine levels, 20-minute breaks, no dinner break for everybody today to accommodate this amazing field. And, uh, of course, uh, you know some other big events coming up here at the World Series this weekend. And of course, we're finishing up the Poker Players Championship today, so that's going to be a while, one, eight players remaining in that. But the WSOP schedule certainly loaded for the bear on this weekend, starting with this monster stack kicking off today but the ladies tournament of course starting tomorrow if you're a guy you can play too it's just going to cost you 10 times more than anybody else it is a 10k buy-in but of course uh, if you are female you get a 90 percent discount it's happy hour here at the world series and we'll take a look at some of the other events coming up here too uh Aside from today's monster stack, there is another tournament going on. The Limit Hold'em 10K Championship is being played this afternoon. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, come on down to check out the some of the best players in the world playing Limit Hold'em. 10K buy-in there. Of course, the special 5 p.m. Flight B, the monster stack today. Uh, will be also starting at 5 o'clock. Tomorrow, of course, Ladies' Championship and begins at noon. $10,000 buy-in, but, of course, it's a 1000 for the ladies. And also a Pot Limit Omaha High-Low Split Eater Better 3K event kicks off Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Hopefully there'll be, a, there'll be a couple seats left in the house for that. And then we go to Saturday. $1,500 Loman Hold, Loman Loman Hold them Saturday afternoon. And then... And that is it for Saturday. Sunday, we bring in, of course, the No Limit Hold'em $1,000 tournament that always start in, uh, just about every Saturday here at the World Series. And the big one for one drop also kicking off here on Sunday at 1 o'clock. So those are your two events for Sunday. Of course, the $1 million buy-in. We're looking forward to seeing an updated list of players on that. And, of course, there's still satellites running uh, to get into that, too. So if you feel like plunking down $25,000, to play a satellite well good luck to you on that of course sean deba last time around won a million dollars but did not get to play in the one drop because of the amount of participants in that so you know still it's going to be in a poker millionaire but not play in the one drop if you play a satellite for that uh monday coming up we got the no limit hold of mix max uh, event number 58 and uh, you know when we start here in the f high 50s we're getting into some real excitement because uh, of course, the main event kicks off on Saturday, July 5th, is event number 65. So still long, you know, closing the gap a little bit, but we are close to the main event with the $10 million guarantee. With starting days on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday here at the World Series of Poker. So pretty, pretty exciting schedule coming up here over the next few afternoons. And we look forward to bringing it to you here on MarkHokeShow.com. All right, let's step back. We'll take another break as uh, the players continue to roll in here, getting ready to play this monster stack tournament. WSOP staff is all over this right now. So let's step back. We'll take another break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. RunGoodGear.com is one of poker's premier online stores for apparel. Their mission is to provide poker players with stylish and comfortable clothes for their daily grind. You've probably seen Run Good Gear at the World Series of Poker through Run Good Poker Pro Rob Salaburo or around the country through the WSOP circuit. Today, RunGoodGear.com is the place to go to gear up for the poker fell. So go there now with the promo code HOKE. That's H-O-K-E for 10% off your entire online purchase. Remember Hoke. Now, go gear up. 
When it comes to custom poker tables, why would you buy something someone else designed and even named for their sales or marketing purposes? The Nighthawk, the Gambler, the Big Slick, the Nuts. Sure, you can customize it if you want as long as you choose between black, red, or even green cloth, but that's about it. When you choose to play off tilt, it's not just another table, it's your table. The same price gets you a fully custom designed table that reflects your style and game. Off tilt makes it easy to design a truly one of a kind custom poker table that'll give you a home table advantage. Sure, Off Tilt could name their tables for marketing purposes, but why? It's not ours. We don't play on it. And to be honest, there are over a thousand named Off Tilt tables worldwide, including the WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.offtiltpokertables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why off tilt is the only way to play sports betters tired of getting beat every week at your sports book it's time to stop guessing and start winning we all know cash is king and it's time to let the team at double digit covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Call now for today's free winner. 1-855-489-2700. That's 1-855-489-2700. At Team Poker Joker, we build innovative, high-performance, poker-focused apparel designed to keep you cool and calm in tough situations. Wait, no we don't. We've just got a cool brand representing the suits of this beautiful game called poker. Our gear won't make you better, but it will keep a smile on your face. So don't be so serious and show you know how to have fun. Get your Poker Joker gear today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Grin and win today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch coming soon. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final9comic.com. And for more details, make sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook at Final Nine Comic. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code MarkHokeShow when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold, hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night, and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. 
Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the Blue Rail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. All right, we are back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Lots of exciting, excited poker players coming in here. Even some of the riffraff is walking into the house, too, but that's all right. Have a little more news, by the way, thanks to Kev Math, of course, the mighty Kevin Mathers. Letting us know uh, some more registration information. And I'll let you know about that. There are still seats, if you guys want to come down to play, still seats available for the 8.20 p.m. wave. Once sold, 9.40 wave is the next one. I don't know who I, who I think is who's sexier, my, my wife? <laughs> Or, or my, my Davis. good friend, not Raymond even Davis. It's not even close. She got me destroyed. She's beautiful. I know she's beautiful. Dude. You must have sold your devil, your soul to the devil or something. How about this, huh? You must be blackmailing her. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, you, <laughs> well, you know, they're. I'm just trying to put it all together, they're, how they're, you can get a woman that looks this good. This be, that goes to show you, America, anybody has a chance. <laughs> Especially if you know what you're doing in the sack, my friend. Especially if you know what you're doing in the sack. Raymond, or I... Or attempting to know what you're doing. This place is a madhouse! Unbelievable. What the hell? Dude, we're looking at 6,500 plus players. More! We more. got more flights, more people. And waves in here, too. We got flights, we got waves. I'm going through them like butter. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm going to win this one. Raymond... Well, what do you do in a tournament? Like, because I got to tell you, just seeing all these people coming in, I have not seen any of these people all the world series. I have never saw none of these none people of before. Not, I think I've it's, seen two people. They got eight thousand people registered, and I know about twenty of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, so you're coming in here with a deep stack, and these guys think they know what they're doing with the deep stack, and they're going to probably most of them probably have no clue. No offense to the the crowd here today. So, how do you survive the early part of this tournament? My, my strategy is I'm not playing until level six. There you go. <laughs> They'll see Raymond Davis at level six. You know, you let the wackos, the nuts who want to go bust it with the flush draws and the, the two queens and two jacks, you let them bust each other out, and then you come in with uh, like uh, 60% of the field or maybe 70% of the field is left. But uh, you, got, you got some people that's going to go bust it within 10 minutes with 600 big blinds. Yeah. I mean, it's 25-25, you know, so – you got some people that's going to go bust it in, you know. But it's a tough tournament. And, and you know what? I bet a guy the other day, and he gave me 3-1. to one. They thought it was going to be 4500 I He gave me 3-1 to one over 6000 wow. I only bet him 20 bucks. Oh, God, oh, I wish I would have bet him dude. more. Wow. This was like a it's freebie. A, that was a freebie. That was. And a the freebie. World Series, they're so out of contact with what's going on. They got texts from poker players six, seven months ago saying you need to make this a two-day tournament yeah. because there's going to be way too many people. Mm -hmm. And the WSOP official said we'll only get 4,500 4, people, maybe 5,000. Incorrect. Know? We're totally incorrect, incorrect again because, like I said on the other show the other day, they, have, they are clueless to what's going on in America. They got, they're mm -hmm. totally clueless with what's going on in the rest of the planet. Only thing they know is deep stack. Yeah. Then, I mean, super, 
the millionaire, the million buy-ins. Most of the poker world don't ain't in contact. The officials ain't in contact. They don't, they don't know that these million dollar first place prizes, these million dollar guarantee prizes, draw people. Mm -hmm. You're right. They draw. They're a draw. And instead of throwing in these uh, skanky tournaments, why don't you throw in two or three of these a year? Yeah, I think What's they might now. <laughs> I think they might now. Are they this. not making money? It looks like it. Are it, we it, not making money? It looks like we're making money here. <laughs> you know? Amazing. Yeah, this is... Uh, place was like a morgue the other day. Now look at it. Give the people what they want, WSOP. Give yeah. the people what they want. Yes. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. <laughs> we're preaching to the choir. Raymond Davis saith unto the flock. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Brothers, more deep stacks, more monster stack tournaments. Shit, I'm going to have to walk on water to go through this goddamn field. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Moonwalking shit. I know, because when it comes down to it, this is still a crapshoot. But at least, you know, but at least with a lot of a lot of chips, you're going to be able to have a little bit of play there too. It's a lot you know, of play. Unlike your, you know, the millionaire maker, where you only got 4,500 chips, there's not a lot of room to mess around in here. At least with a deep stack, you can. You can finagle a little bit of and move around and stuff like that. Yeah. The structure is so good because it's the same structure as a regular 1500 and stuff like that. So you got all these levels minus the two, 250, 500. So you really got a chance to make some money in this tournament. I, you know, The only thing that I'm worried about today logistically is because they're going to be doing the extra waves like they did for the Millionaire Maker. Right. But the problem is, is that how many people are really going to be busted out in that in that evening's you know in that evening session you got 15 you, know, you got 15,000 chips it's not like 4500 where you're going to be you know clearing people out all day right and left i mean this is going to be a little tough my to get people out of this my prediction is maybe um 20% of the field is gone is like that? like what they did they just canceled all the live games which was shitty anyway here <laughs> so they got rid of all the live games so uh, Bellagio can thank WSOP for bad scheduling so you guys get all our live players there you go you know ooh Fortunately, and, uh, those Arctic Blue cooling towels that are on sale here at the booth are uh, still very well cased. <laughs> Raymond yeah. Davis, dangerous, everybody. Dangerous. I feel Why good. Why don't you go with that, man? Dangerous Raymond Davis. I feel good. What is your? Do you have a nickname? The Amazing. The Amazing? No. Yeah, that's what better. they call me. That's they, oh, the Amazing got, Raymond Davis. You're not Spider-Man. Let's come up with something. I, I kinda, I kinda that's how like, I met Toby McGuire. He's, he was reading my article. He said, I'm pretty amazing, too. <laughs> True story at Commerce Casino. There you go. Next thing I know, he was giving me blocks of money. What a great guy. God, you just get blocks of money from everybody. Can I be mm -hmm. your best friend? I wish. Well, I, I can be. All you I'm have on to do a is mission. say the word. I'm on a mission to get, get a lot of chips in this tournament or bust out. Because Saturday, Saturday, I got the... The, the the dream satellite. That's right. The twenty five thousand dollars. You are playing dream. the satellite. Yes, outstanding. To the million. That's gonna be fun. You know, All I got to do is win a satellite, and I'm playing in a million well, dollar buying tournament. I, okay, now what gonna, could be so hard? About I'm gonna it? ask you this question because last time around we did this two years ago. Sean Deep did not yeah. get in, did not get into the one drop, but he won a million bucks. In, that, funny in that satellite, which, you know, they tried to give him Lambers, which was, was funny It was shit. funny. I was walking <laughs> with him, and they were like, we're going to give you a million dollars in satellites here. Sean D said, wait, what? He said, what would we do with a satellite? I said, Sean, that? I said, I'll help you sell them. <laughs> we, sell them by the that? we can sell them by the satellite area. Yeah, that that <laughs> we'll would have been funny. We'll just wheel the cart over. He says, Ray, I'm not doing this. Jack Eiffel, I need money. So yeah. They made an exception in this case. Do you... I'll take a laminate. If if you were in that spot where you missed the one drop but you got the million, would you be happy when that was over? Like, yes, like, you'd be you'd be okay. Yes, I'll be okay. You'd be with like the screw million. the one drop. I'll just take the million. See, right now they got because of him, Sean D. Thank you. Uh, it's a four must play. Uh huh. If you win the satellite, it's a must play. You're, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if the seat's transferable. Maybe it is. Um, but somebody will play. There you go. <laughs> You can bring your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather. Somebody's going to fucking play. Yeah, I, th I think, I think on, I think on this one, I would be okay with if I missed the one. You know, if I still got the million bucks, but I couldn't play the one drop. I like. I the, think I'd be alright. Like I could put, I could put it away and play it next. How you year. like to bubble the seat when it's like eight hundred thousand for the bubble? You get that in cash. God. You're getting it in so bad. Oh. <laughs> here, 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 here. That would hurt. That huh? would really hurt. What are you talking about? Bubbling it. I'd hate to bubble that thing. Oh my god. god. Bubbling the one yeah. drop would be even worse. <laughs> It's only a million-dollar bubble. Suck so hardcore. 
It's so only a million bad. dollar bubble. Yeah. Yeah, probably what one point. It'll probably be like you probably 1. won't 5. sleep for a couple of weeks. Probably I not. Probably won't sleep for a fucking couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, the doctor had to give me all kinds of shit to get me to sleep. Yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'd be like, I'd be trying to you know put away all the sharp objects and the, <laughs> the belts and all the electrical objects to turn the water off so I don't try to electrocute myself. The good I thing mean, about me, I'm not bubbling shit. I'm not a bubble boy. You either go big or go home, right? We, that's how we play. We don't have chips in position to win, or we're getting the fuck out. Yes. We're going to the next event. Well. That's how I play poker. I want to see you win this thing. That'd be, that'd be freaking you sweet. You don't see game. me sitting on a bubble. Oh, I got a fold. This guy <laughs> raised. Oh, three more. Oh, who's short? Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's for fucking squares. Yes. Go for it. Play. You play gang poker. Gangster. Play <laughs> gangster style poker. By Look. the way, by the way, I I found out who some of my competition is at this media tournament I'm going to today. I found out who some of the players You're are. You're a now, big I know, favorite. Now I know I've got Chris Moneymaker over there. Am I still oh, a favorite? Moneymaker. Am I still a favorite? Yes, your favorite. I'm still a favorite. I'll take Chris you Moneymaker. over Moneymaker. Okay, that's legit. Uh, we got my good friend Rob Vegas Poker over there. Uh, does his column for Andy Up Magazine. Yeah, I, I know he's Rob. a great guy. We've got Poker Cat Forty Nine on Twitter who is. Uh, I thought Poker Cat she's, was Kathy Liebert. No. Uh, Kitty, Al- oh, Kitty she's Ailman. 49. She's from Lips and also does work for Andy at Magazine. She's probably 49 years old, right? Check out this prick, Kevin Math. Ooh, Kevin Math. I got, I got to take Kev Math on. You got to get him. I love Kev Math. He's all right. He's a good guy. Uh, who, who is this one? I, I don't remember. Julio Rodriguez. He is a managing editor oh, yeah. for Card Player Media. That's, that's Julio. Yeah. Wow, Julio got, so, got a good good position now. Great so, guy. So I got Julio there. I have... Uh, John Soffin, he's mm-hmm. a he's a writer. He's a poker player and a sports nut. So sports I'll nut. be taking on John Soffin. Uh, HD Bad Boy HR on Twitter is Lucky J Sheets. Do you know Lucky J Sheets? No. I think with a mustache like that, I am going to be a little worried about Lucky <laughs> J Sheets. Uh, we've got myself. Pokerati Dan Mikulski is going to be there. Wow. I've played against Dan. He's He's got no game. And, of course, our good friend Wicked Chops. We could chop. We could you, did you see too. Alan Kessler Twitter? I did. Oh, he said, "Fuck the hater." He's pissed. He went he gangster. He did. He was not happy. He went about fucking the... fifty cent on the world. Yeah, I don't blame now, him. Now, now we got to dress Alan Kessler in some hip hop gear. You know, we got to work on those fucking guns. Can, can we? Can we get him some like new kids on the block stuff? <laughs> No, we, he's the new gangster in poker. Alan Kessler is taking <laughs> over fucking poker. If you guys like it or not, that's the new man. No more Ivy. The chainsaw is taking over fucking poker. And he's going gangster. We got, you know, he got to come in. With, he's got to come in with some rap music now. Playing some 50 Cent or something. How about, uh, huh? how about some Will Smith? Oh, oh. Some Fresh Prince maybe. No, you know what No, no Fresh Prince? That, that, what's that? How about Tone Loke? Guy? Uh, not Tone Loke. Uh, How about the, the, one, the Young back. MC? No, we need somebody hard. Gerardo come in with some Rough Rider. What's that guy? Uh, Rough Rider. Well, you're asking the uh, you're asking the wrong guy on that one. Fuck. What's his name? Ludacris. No, Ludacris? no, it's right on. He's always getting arrested <laughs> every fucking week now. Oh well, that that eliminates a lot. Man. Hopefully not the guy that uh, cut off his own penis. No, not that guy. I don't want that guy. We don't want that. He might cut off Alan's penis. Well, that, that's a search and destroy mission there, I think. What is that guy? I don't know. Name? I don't know. Jesus we'll Christ. We'll figure it out. It's right on the top. He does movies. He's always in jail. He was running around a casino naked the other day. <laughs> I have no idea. Fuck. <laughs> no idea. I bet you the listeners know. They probably do. But they're not going to help us. We'll have to look it up. Oh, man. Well, it's going to be a fun day. Rough Rider. Look it up. Rough Rider. Okay, I'll check. We'll, we'll Rapper. Ruff, he was in a lot of movies with Ruff, Steven Seagal and all of them. Are, are we, is it are you, are we going rough as in real rough or are you Rough Rider song or whatever. Okay, Ruff, Ruff Riders. Ruff Rider. How can I not know this Ruff. guy? I listen to his music all the time. Well, that's because of the crap. DMX. There we go. DMX. 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 That, that's who. That's who we need to bring the music for Alan Kessler. Done. We can work on that. Music for Alan Kessler, DMX. We put Alan in a muscle shirt. 
some fucking it'll dude, fall his hands off. hanging down. I'm not so sure it'll fall off him. Some black hands and some Air Jordans. Alan, we're gonna change your fucking image. Can we get some chains? We're gonna make him a badass. Gold chains, medallion. No more of this nerd shit. And and Alan, you're gonna be so badass. You're gonna skip every buffet line. Corn, you're skip everyone. Wait, I have it. Cornrows. <laughs> He's a badass now. You I saw know. what he said on Twitter? I know. He called everybody out. Did he do that? He called out Buzzgon and Al uh, Barbary. And uh, he called Alan you Barry guys and, out. Uh, yeah. And uh, Mike Leah. He's I mean, how do, you, how do you get a fight with Mike Leah? Mike Leah's one of the nicest guys in the world. How do you get into it with Mike Leah? He was tired of people bashing him, yeah. saying how bad he was, and no, at party wouldn't buy him. And I know. I'm glad he's stuck up for himself. That's my yeah. buddy, you know? Yeah, he's all right. See, people think that me and. You know, people think we hate each other. I Maybe know, we should keep that image going. I wonder if the world know that we're really. No, close I, th- I think they've got it figured out. Huh? I think they've got it figured out. It's all a fucking act. Yeah, I know. Don't tell anybody. Now you're ruined. We're not on the air, are we? Yeah, we are. Fuck. Damn. Now they know. <sighs> what people go up to me, Ray. You're so mean, to Alan Kessler. <laughs> you're so such a bad. You're such a you bad are, person. You are a bad person, Ray. It's a fucking act. <laughs> I know. He's my <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Because he's Raymond Davis, <laughs> he can say whatever he wants. It's one of the it's one of the key words in my vocabulary. It is a key word. <laughs> it can be used in any tense. I was clean. I kept it clean on poker news. Did you watch the video? No, you didn't even I, watch I it. I forgot to watch. I it. I kept it clean video. with the Ivy stories. And here's what I'm gonna, here's I what I'm gonna do. I won't I won't have time to watch it at the moment. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Raymond Davis. I'm typing one handed here. Raymond Davis poker news. So I'm gonna funny. find it. You're so mean to that Alan Kessler. He's such a nice guy. They're all crying. And Raymond, you deserve it. Alan's just a nice guy. I told people before, if you see Alan fighting a bear, please help the bear. <laughs> please help the bear. The bear is the one in trouble. Well, that's from 2008. Look at you. Huh? That's from 2008. No, they got a Well, I know, Ivy but I'm just story. saying that's from, that's from 2008. What a badass I was. Maybe I should what bring the back f- the fedoras. Yeah. Maybe I should bring back the fucking fedoras. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, we got to put not, Alan in a fedora. There you go. But, huh? but, but Pimp not, him out with the glasses? But not that fedora. <laughs> Pimp him out in a fedora? Oh, Jesus Christ. The badass glasses. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. You better make him a badass. I'm happy for Alan, though. Ivy, I'm really happy for the guy. Although he's costing me money, Alan, you're costing me a lot of money, but I'm happy for what, you, Did you bet against him? Yes. Dumbass. I got to bet. No, I didn't bet against him. There we go. There, there we go. go. My video. All right. I've got it right there. So when I come back from the tournament, How Ivy saved it. the poker world. That's a funny story. You'll right. love that. Okay. Looking forward to it. That's on uh, uh, pokernews.com. Uh, video backslash video backslash Ivy stories. How Ivy saved the poker world. Yeah, that's a Check great story. All right, sounds good. They, they want to do. I'm doing the Huck Seed story in a minute of our four eight bet. Oh, great! We what, had a I bet in a four eight Omaha, and I bet him he was talking shit. I says, I'm pretty sure that you can't beat a four eight Omaha game. A four dollar, eight dollar, not four hundred, eight hundred. So he says, <laughs> What would you like to bet? You know, being Huck, he yeah. likes to bet a little. I said, well, just make a small little bet, a few thousand. And somehow we got it up to 5K. But <laughs> he was um, playing the $200 at the um, New Orleans, and the people was beating him. Nice. So the bet was he had to win $200 in an Omaha high-low, 4-8, before he lost 200 Okay. So he would lose, and then he would quit. He would lose 20 and he had to text me every day to updates or whatever, <laughs> his sessions. And then I would go over there because I, I always wanted to be on his left so I could raise him every pot. Yeah. Just in case he missed. Of know? course, yeah. You know, you have to have a good though because you don't want to build him a pot. Right. Because he can win one pot in a 4-8. can be $200. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it was 4-8 with a kill. Oh, even worse, yeah. But it was this old lady. She was like 80, 80 oh, years old. Oh, God. She check-raised him every time. <laughs> and he told her, he told her, he said, do you know who I am? I won the World Series of Poker. I'm a world champion. He told the old lady that. Uh, you can't keep check rate. And she says, what does that make me? <laughs> wow. Because she beat him every pot. Door slammed. She beat him every pot. It was take so that funny. Bracelet, trace, take that bracelet up, <laughs> you know, shine it up real nice, turn it sideways, it and boom. <laughs> it was funny, too, because he would play 4-8 at night and 400, 800 
in the morning. <laughs> and he's trying to beat me in this bet. That's hilarious. Needless to say, in six months, he couldn't make $200 in a 4-8 game. Wow. Six months. Six months. And then I call him up and I says, Huck, this is ridiculous. There has to be a time cap on this fucking bet. You can't yeah. just make this oh, fucking yeah, you could bet do it. Forever. He could do it in, you know, six years from now and collect. Yeah. And he was like, well, that wasn't... You know, well, part of the deal. You, I said, well, we're putting it in part of the deal because this is bullshit. Yeah. I said, you have to win $200 in a 4-8 lip Omaha game. I didn't say eternity. You know, I want this bet to be over. So he played a couple more sessions. He couldn't win the 200 and he conceded the bet. Wow. He's a great guy, though. I give him, I give him a lot of shit because I can, and yeah. I give a lot of people a lot of shit. But in all actuality, we had a couple of falling outs, but Huck is a good guy. Like the thrift shop incident. Just, yeah, that was that was a big fall on that. That was a big one. That was yeah, the you big told me end, about that, that was the, the ending. Show. That, <laughs> that was, was the so ending. Bad. That was so bad. Of us hanging out. Can I ask him about that if I ever get the interview? No. No? He'll go nuts. He will? No, that's what I want to do. If you want to He's been blowing me off for three years. Just bring it off. He's been blowing me up. He's been blowing off for three freaking years. You know, he said said more words to me at this World Series, which you know was like three sentences. Yeah. I think he said about three sentences to me. That was that that's the most I've gotten out of Huck Seed. He's a very unique individual. I could tell. He's strange. That's all right. He's a poker player. He's a good guy, though. Yeah. I like Huck. You know? Well, hopefully someday I'll get to sit down and talk to him. Yeah, he just don't know. He's he's just, uh, he's not really a people's person. You know? There, yeah. There's, you know, a lot of stuff bottled up. I mean, he's not the type of person that's, he just he's just not a people's person. I mean, that's just, just who he is, yeah. you know? That's all right. It's like Alan Kessler. Alan Kessler relates more to people than Huck. Yeah, definitely. Well, Alan likes me. Yeah. I don't know why. I kind of like, I, I, get, I guess I got to get credit for Alan's Twitter because I kind of like bring him, I, br- I br- kind of like bring him out of his shell. Yeah. Yeah, you do, actually. He used to be the shy guy, and now he's saying, fuck, fuck everybody, fuck the haters. <laughs> fuck the haters. Yeah, you got to love that. I gotta, he got to give me credit for that, yeah, right? You bet. You bet. <laughs> I'm bringing out the gangster in Alan Kessler. Yeah, we just got to get him laid now. Get him laid. Now, yeah. now you're asking a lot. I know I am, but that's okay. That but, will never happen. Yeah, but Kessler. Not in our lifetime. But, of course, Kessler is playing the uh, last eight players of the 50K championship today. Very excited to see Alan in there. But, uh, you know, the kid, Brandon Shaq Harris, by the way. I want I want yeah. Alan to win second. Brandon Shaq Harris, and he's a beast. He is, isn't he? And he's you know, the nicest guy, You know the funniest too. thing? Abe? Abe will win more inside bets than he can win for this event. Really? True story. Wow. Abe will win. If Abe wins this tournament, he will literally, true story, win more inside bets than he won in the tournament. Unbelievable. He's got them all locked in. Ooh. Gerard, Ivy, Dole, everyone. He got bets with everyone. Good. And he's already up because the bet was cash, final table, win. Oh, he's gold. So it's like three bets. He's gold. So if you bet like 40,000. You get forty thousand for cash, you get another forty thousand for a final table, and then you get another forty thousand for a win. Wow! So, so when Ivy does it, Ivy likes to go hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fuck the forty. Yeah, exactly. Got to get know? into six figures at least. Yeah. So, th- so if I had, if let I me tell you, these high stakes players, they love to fucking barbecue each other. <laughs> That's one thing about them. Low stake, yeah. Low stakes player on these high stake motherfuckers. These motherfuckers try to make you homeless. <laughs> you know, these motherfuckers ain't fucking around. When you're betting with Ivy, he ain't fucking around. Yeah. He's like, so, he wants you living on the street so with, so fucking if, with a tin can. Well, so if I do one of my legendary $1 bets, he won't oh, take it. Oh, no. You know, every time I ask him for a bet, he's trying to fucking break me. Well, of course. He's like, how much you got? I said, I'd like to keep something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bus fare or something. <laughs> he wants the car, the house, <laughs> fucking everything. You got any titles on you? Any deeds? No. no. <laughs> True story. I believe it. High stake players are fucking vicious. By the way, there's Kenny Einiger, the 5K leader today. <laughs> Look at this guy. High stake players are see? vicious. They take no prisoners. Uh, of course. That's why they're high stakes players. It's like that 80 year old lady that was a uh, check raising Huck. She wasn't fucking around with no. Huck. She was dead serious. Beat she had on some sunglasses, some gloves, and she was 80. She was. Beat him I, like said, a dog. I said she probably drives a fucking Corvette. Probably. Wow. Uh, by the way, Ty Stewart coming by, everybody. Wow. It's Are, so amazing. It's so busy here, they're making Ty Stewart take out the trash. 
<laughs> he finally did something. He finally did <laughs> some work at the WSOP. That got, it, that got his attention. Here we go. What, what, what do you have tied? What's tie, what's in the bag, Cy? Si? Costumes. 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 <laughs> That's going to be my new gig what after are, I go broke at the World Series. Oh, what, gonna, wear what, what, do we, what do we have here? Walking Dead. Look at that. Oh, he's got a Ty, you got to show this to everybody. Swing around. Let, let Ty in here. Yeah, let Ty mask. in here so everybody can So we can get this. it on camera. I got it. This is, this is a good look for Ty, by the way. This is a great look. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this guy. It is an unbeatable poker face. Look at this. Here, come on. You got to come on on this one. Yeah, come on this one. This, this is Ty Stewart. Of the World Series of Poker. What's up, big man? It's, ah! it's the monster stack. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. So, so this was this was a marketing plan by whom? We don't like to take individual personal credit <laughs> at the World Series of Poker, <laughs> but I might get a raise later on in the summer. So, or you know, this or, one, uh, this one's a good one. Or a demotion, one of the two. Yeah, well, well uh, we've seen that some of these specialty events uh, really are resonating, and then. You know, there's been some drop off, but we got healthy in a hurry today. Well, congratulations Thank on you. everything, Ty. And you're looking just fantastic. Congratulations. You look, by the way, seriously, you look great. Look Thank great. You. All right, there you go. Ty Zombie Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the freaking Mark Hoke show. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're. <laughs> I feel like we should just stop because I was going to stop about twelve thirty. I that that could be that could be the end. Ty Stewart in a monster mask. That was that was unreal. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I tell you what, you know, I I think that that is going to be a, a great place to uh, leave off. So, um, looking forward to uh, seeing you guys. We are still planning to try and be on the air tonight, depending on. Uh, how things go over at the other tournament. Uh, we we'll definitely want to get some updates on what's happening with this thing. So at some point, I'm sure we'll be back on the air tonight. Um, we'll schedule for 6.30. Could be a little bit later, but we'll see what happens on that. But but uh, Ty Stewart showing up. We got Raymond Davis and Ty Stewart in a monster mask. Unbelievable. All right, so I'll tell you, that's going to do it here, guys. We are going to come back, like I said, to schedule for 6.30 tonight. This is my wife, Kristen, come buy some stuff from her, make her actually socialize and not be not be uh, goofy or weird or, you know, introverted, which is just unreal to see. But what? nothing, nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying you're burying yourself. You're normally very social, but not today. Be social. Have fun. Hi. All right. There you go. All right. So, guys, uh, wish me luck. Hopefully, uh me i'll end up playing in the 25 the or the half million dollar guarantee over there in hollywood or the m tomorrow odds are i won't but we'll find out what happens but uh, that's going to do it here for our special morning edition here of the mark hoke show uh want to thank raymond stewart and or raymond davis <laughs> i put them <laughs> together raymond davis and ty stewart of the world series of poker for joining us we will see you guys next time thanks for being around we'll catch you later on tonight here live from the world series of poker